Today you will learn how to configure and set up a project with XSAT CM Can Open module using our CM Can Open Configuration Studio. Hey, it's Tobi. Have you ever wondered how you can access CAN and CAN Open devices from your Siemens Simatic S7 1200 PLC? In this video, we will explain how you can do so using our CM CAN Open product. To simplify this operation, HMS provides seamless integration of the CM CAN Open module into the TIA portal. The configuration of the connected CAN Open network can be performed easily using the CM Can Open Configuration Studio, which we provide free of charge. In this video, you will learn how to set up a simple Can Open Network project using the tool, including three CIA 401 compliant I.O. modules and one CM Can Open module. You will learn how to create a new project, add Can Open slave devices and select application objects to be mapped into the process image. We will make the PDO calculation and inspection of the process image, generate the CAN Open configuration data and download it to the CM CAN Open module. To prepare a new configuration for our CM CAN Open module, start the CM CAN Open configuration studio and select File, then New. This operation will open the new project dialog box. Now, we need to define the location of the configuration file and enter our name. We then select the master device, which is our CM Can Open module and define the node ID. Closing the new project dialog using the OK button will create a new empty project containing the CM Can Open module as the managing device. After an empty project has been created, slave devices can be added to the network. In this example, we use one of the CAN Open Slave device templates, which are included in the device catalog. But you can use any other CAN Open device that you have preloaded in the catalog. To add a device to the CAN Open network, open the corresponding navigation field in the device catalog. Select the device to be added to the network description and drag it into the Project Explorer window. For each device, a logical name has to be assigned and we have to define the CAN Open node ID and the group to which the device will be added to. Repeat this operation to add one more I.O. device to the project. So, at the end, the Project Explorer shows a project structure with one CAN Open Manager device and two I.O. modules. To select the CAN Open Slave Devices process data, that needs to be mapped into the process image on the CM Can Open module, open the Application Objects tab. Here we see a list of all the application objects that are mappable as process data. The application objects are sorted according to the node ID of the device, their object index and the sub-index of the entry. To select application objects, click the checkbox in the mapped column next to the parameter name. For our example, the first four digital input blocks on the two can open I.O. module are selected. These are object dictionary index 6000 sub index 1 to 4. The buffer size allocated in the process image on the CM can open module can be simultaneously monitored in the application objects toolbar at the top. As we have selected our unsigned 8 input objects for each slave node, we see that 8 bytes are allocated in the process image. We now can verify the PDO mapping configuration. And I will show you how. Go to the Build menu item and select Calculate Configuration. To inspect the resulting PDO configuration on the device with node ID 1, our first I.O. module we have to select the devices in the Project Explorer. In the PDO parameters window, we see that one transmit PDO has been created, which contains four objects. If we inspect the managing node, our CM can open module, we see two incoming receive PDOs, each with four objects for the I.O. nodes. The last step comprises downloading the configuration into the CM can open module. 
For this, we connect the module to a PC using a USB connection. In addition, we have to connect a voltage supply to the module. Before the configuration can be downloaded to the CM Can Open module, the configuration data for the module must be generated. To do this, go to the Build menu and click on Generate Configuration. Save the generated configuration data into the same folder as the example network project. Before starting the download, we need to specify the interface that will be used to transfer the configuration data to the module. To do this, click the Interface Configuration icon. We have used USB for a connection, so select C and can open USB and the module. Finally, we select the configuration file generated earlier and start the download process. That's it! The configuration is now on the device and the can open is ready for operation. Okay, thanks for watching this video and for more information about other products, check out our other YouTube videos. By subscribing to our channel, you won't miss any updates. See you next time. Bye-bye.